Howdy, Howdy neighbors. neighbors! Welcome to the Fence Bar. I'm Neighbor Sharif. You are. I'm Neighbor Sean. We're coming to you live on tape from the Lower Hudson Valley in beautiful Westchester, New York. It's still snowing. It's still snowing. It's snowing right now. <sighs> we thought, ma- we thought maybe in March uh, we'd be done, but unfortunately... No, this is the third snowstorm yeah. in 14 days, and it's been coming down. We've been getting like two it's feet. It's kind of beautiful, but at the same time, a lot of trees have been going down at the same time. A lot of power's been going out. Uh, that's uh, that's the way it is, though. I, th- I think our neighbors all have their power back, which they is do. The so, most welcome back, neighbors. Thing. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Hello. So, what are we talking about today? Uh, and why the heck are we out here? Well, we're again? here because uh, this bar that is on top of a fence was built by us. <laughs> that a fence that was built to divide our, us as neighbors. I think it was Mikey Tables that. Mikey oh, Tables, that the voice uh, 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 that you hear, Mikey. Caca! Caca! There he is. Uh, he built the bar on top of the fence so that way we can come together. So what would normally separate people is now a community neighborhood. We started hanging out, out here, and yeah. uh, the neighbors just started coming over, and they just keep coming. And as you can see, we uh, we drink a lot of beer there, uh, and we continue to drink a lot of beer here because it's a uh, fence bar. It's fence the bar. Heat. Bar is the operative word. Beer and humans and coming together with fire. I think it's a beautiful thing. And we have five segments that we talk about every every week. Uh, the first one is going to be. Meet your neighbor. Meet your neighbor. Right. All the interesting people that come over. Your celebrities, community celebrities, foodies. Uh, everybody. everybody. Everybody that's and in anybody. the community. Um, and then we also are going to talk about beer brains. 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 That's, that's your cue, Mike, man. Beer brains is about. Um, I've been getting beer brains, uh, a private beer brains for the yeah. last two years, where Sean has just been educating me on beer. Yeah. And it's been a private beer brain session. Now so Sean's going to share it, it, with give it to the masses. We, we, Sean, you want, uh, Mike, you want some beer brains? I uh, love some beer brains. Everybody loves beer brains. Who doesn't like some beer brains? What are we talking about today, beer brains? We are going to be talking about the four ingredients that are in beer. Love it. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go to the beer report, where we're going to find out what... what beer report! Beer report! Beer report! Beer report! What are, the, what are the happens that are happening in Westchester? Primarily Westchester. It's, it's, it's all about... Uh, bottle trying releases. Trying to figure out releases. what's going on in your community beer in dinners. Westchester. Yeah, what, it's different things that are happening in the community, mostly it's, related to beer, because it is the principle. It's how... We figure out what we're doing this weekend. Like last week on uh, on Beer Report, we told you about getting your uh, your Guinness glass engraved at the DeChicos, and uh, we now have neighbor Sean and neighbor Sharif coming at you at Chico's Millwood. Thank They're you, etched. Guinness, and uh, thank you to Chico's Millwood, and thank you, neighbor Sean. Well, you're welcome. You should have come. It was a lot of fun. I should have. Come. I carried the torch for us all. And then after that, we go to fe- uh, we go to fence life. Fence life. I mean, because like you can't always fence at the fence bar. But you should always be able to fence bar in your life. <laughs> oh, wow. We didn't practice that no, one. No, that's off the cuff. Wow. Nothing on my sleeves. But that's a, little, a good one. Fence bar is all about, you know, being fe- able to fence life specifically. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, what do we do here that you can take at home? Some some, some clues and some little hints tips, little to, tips. to make things your life better. And I think this year, uh, what, what, what are we talking about this, uh, this week? Building your fire pit. Fire, fire pit. And why it's important to have a fire pit. It's just says it's fun to say Pit. Pit. There are a lot of other fun words coming yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true, that's true. And so are we bringing our the, first? The last segment is, oh, oh. is always the ratings of the beers that we've been consuming. So speaking of which, I need to open up the Sex Panther, or just the Panther. <laughs> the uh, but this is a collaboration from the the the, uh, the rap group, Run the Jewels, Interboro, and, uh, from Brooklyn, New York, and Pipeworks from Chicago. So give me your sidecar, dude. Empty it out. Wait, there's a there's a rap group that is a collab is one of the collaborators. You can actually almost hear it, like. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you pulling my leg or no? Sex Panther. <laughs> it's just Panther, but I think it would be cooler if it said Sex Panther. Are you pulling my leg or is there? No, uh, really. Uh, this is a rap Hills. group collaboration. This is not. Uh, I have a couple collaborations here, also with Interboro. This is one is out. Uh, it's a stout. Okay. Wait, hold on a second, John. Yeah. Uh, how does a rap group collaborate with a beer? Well, look, when you're creating anything, it's not just about the ingredients that are going into it. It's about the energy. Oh. It's about the feeling. I it's about it. the intent. And it. so this is a uh, Pipeworks is from Chicago. Run the Jewels, I believe, is, a, is also a, a, a group that's based out of Chicago. And they uh, they got buddies with, with Interboro. I don't know the, the background behind it. I, I don't work for Interboro. Uh, Although I right. wouldn't mind because it's got a great beer. 
John, are you yeah. interviewing for a no, job? No, right? no, 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 no. But anyway, so we also have this collaboration that we're drinking now, and then we have another Interbro. This one is done with Carton Brewing Company, Industrial Arts, and nice. Threes Brewing Company. So you, when you're going to your beer section at your DeChico's, these will be your $21 four-packs. Ooh, I not the $14 ones. No, the $14 ones would be <laughs> this one. So okay. these are the nice ones, and as they How's as taste? well they should be. It tastes great. All right, enough about us dillying dallying about the introduction. I think it's time for us to meet your neighbor. Meet your neighbor. And last uh, last week's meet the neighbor session, we had neighbor Mike. We and, did. Uh, he was just uncomfortable on this side of the fence. <laughs> Let's just say there's a reason why he's being quiet this week. Yeah. Because he, uh, we all understand you work for three, 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 three industries, and we three industries will build you a table or a or house, house or anything, anything in, between. in between. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we're happy to have him on the other side of the table. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. That was, that was, not, it was, a, it was a nice segment. That's right. You're but, out of your realm. You're on the right side of the fence now. Well, who do we have right now? We've got us. a real guest. This is our first real guest. We do. And, I'm real. Uh, I'm real. Uh, uh, no, right no. Here. We're You're all like Pinocchio. We're all is really growing. excited about <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guest. <laughs> yes, we yeah. are. Are we? Are we? Are we, are we are excited, excited, man? Are we I'm, uh, I can't tell you how excited um, I am. Because so let me tell you about this, this guest very briefly. I know her through Instagram, just like a good millennial. Uh, when we moved up here from the city, we needed to know all the local happenings. Sure, how to, you, you wanted know. to sound intelligent. There, there, there wasn't a uh, beer report back then. There was no beer report. So I couldn't get my information, and I got my information from Intoxicate. Okay. Kate? Intoxicate, it's the, oh, the whole th- handle is Intoxicate Foodie. 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 Yeah. Oh! I was waiting Hello, for you to Kate. make your stroll over here. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Would you like a little sex I, panther? No, I, this sex panther. <laughs> is it really called sex panther? No, but I, I have a little man crush on Paul Rudd, okay. and, and the Anchorman movies had uh, Sex Panther as the, the perfume. Panther. Yeah, so, this is called Sex Panther it's just for Panther. today. It's just Panther. It's just yeah. Panther. It's yeah. a stout. So, welcome to the Fence Bar. Thank welcome you. to the Fence yeah. Bar. Thanks, Thanks for coming for out me. on a uh, snowy day. You know, it's not many bars that I go to today. You have this kind of ambiance. You've got the fire pit right here. You've got the snow. It's great. Yeah. It's, uh, we did this, it for you. It's very good fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This is all for you. You should see what happens at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like fireworks. <laughs> And I hope you brought them, too. Uh, <laughs> we don't have any. <laughs> I've got some, actually, but okay, yeah. I haven't been allowed to bring them out. My but wife's Maybe like, Fizz, can we do it? Not tonight. No. Not tonight. No. Not tonight. <laughs> Fireworks don't work well in the snow. No, I no. don't think so. But speaking of snow, you were originally our first guest, and there was a huge snowstorm. Yeah. Yeah. Two, actually. Two, Two. huge snowstorms. But well, we finally got you out here. Finally, I yeah. know. How was this trip? Did you bring the dogs? Were you on a sled? I, yep. No, you know, I just I was able to get up here in my little SUV, put in the four wheel drive, okay. and we're good to go. All the way from Yonkers? All the way from Yonkers. Yonkers. Yeah. Yeah. Right up Yonkers. the sawmill, and right up nine. You brought us a little wheat noise. I did. Well, I mean, you got to represent, right? Dude, you yeah. got you yeah. got to bring Yonkers. a beer to the fence bar. You don't have to, because we obviously have some. But thank you. Well, listen, that, that's the way I grew up. You come to a party, you bring something to the party. So I brought uh, wheat noise by Yonkers. And I'm drinking it right now in my uh, my, my major cups. So, like we always have two beers at the fence bar. We've got your 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 dad light or your mom light, which is a five percent beer of some sort that you can chug a chug a lug. Yeah. And then you have your your sex panther sidecar. Sex I think maybe now it's officially called sex, sex panther, panther sidecar. Uh, and that's that, my sidecar. Goddamn it! Oh, did I steal it? Yeah, that's oh. my sidecar. But it's all right. All right. Yes. Well, I don't have any sidecar left. Ah. Fill it up. Fill it up. <laughs> um, so, okay, Meet the Neighbors is all about uh, your Westchester neighbors and what they're doing out there, providing awesome services to people. So we want to know what it's like being a Westchester foodie and what those restaurants out there are all doing yeah. that we get excited about. Well, I mean, that's really why I started Intoxicate. I wrote for Westchester Magazine for a while. I wrote for the Journal News for a while. But... Uh, you know, due to their deadlines and whatnot, it was really hard to get some cool stories in. Yeah, Corporate. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I started my own uh, website, Intoxicate, Intoxicate with a K, because my name's Kate, uh-huh. and uh, just started writing about all the really cool things going on, and it kind of evolved from there. We have a radio show now, we have events, we have magazines. So you have a magazine, cool. too? I have an online magazine, yeah. Oh, we, had, we had a lot of trouble. Sean's had a lot of trouble with your name and your handle and all that. He's not a millennial. He's not a millennial. It's the Kate. It's the Kate. It's pretty dope. I, you know. Here I am. It's the Kate. 
Instacate. Yeah. Instacate. Uh, but it is Intoxicate with a K. Yes, it's Intoxicate with a K. And then if you go on Instagram and in Facebook, it's Intoxicate it's Foodie. Yeah, Foodie. Just because you gotta that's get, how you I gotta know you. add the Foodie in there. That's how I know you. Yeah. You're Intoxicate Foodie to me. Yeah. So what I need to know, um, sure. Intoxicate Foodie. Sure. Uh, operant word being Foodie is uh, Kiana, my wife, and I love to eat out in Westchester. Okay. Now the season's changing, menus are changing. It's not really. Ch- it hasn't really changed yet. Changing. Well, by yeah. the snow and the my fingers uh, <laughs> like peeling from the frostbite. Where would you recommend us going? Uh, is there any place that you've been recently that you think is buzzworthy or that you're just dying to talk about? Well, Besides the it. first bar. Besides the first bar. Which I, we have to figure out somehow next time I come how we're going to incorporate food oh, yeah, into the fence. I like we, 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 we talked about it. it. Yeah. I like it. Nice. Well, the, the guys at Finn and Brew offered to bring their chef here and cook to do a beer pairing wow. here. Yeah. Maybe we bring you back for that. We do yeah, a, a double so you can talk about the food at the hot new space of the Factoria. Double. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Uh, but you know, you are you're right. Seasons are changing, even though it doesn't feel like Eventually. it. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of people are working on their seasonal menus or spring menus. So I happen to love Crabtree Kittle House. Have oh you been there? No. Wait, can you say that again? Is it Crabtree Crab Kittle House? Crabtree's Crab Kittle, Kittle, Kittle House. Restaurant and Inn. So it's restaurant, restaurant and Inn. inn. Uh, What's really? their website? I hope it's not Crabtree's <laughs> Kittle House <laughs> or dot in com in. slash. They need it better. Is it foodie? I think it's a good idea. You'll find it pretty easily. Crabtree's Kittle House. Where is that? Kittle House. In Chappaqua. Crabtree's Kittle House in Chappaqua. Yeah. Darling, do you want to go this weekend? I'm not I'm in. There. I've been there uh, oh. to sell beer. Okay. But I have yet to enjoy the delicious. Isn't that a John George or? A no, that's not a John George. Oh my God! If it's Shane a John George, Shane is, uh, the chef there. Fantastic chef, doing really really cool things. They actually, a little fun fact. I know we're talking about beer. They have one of the largest wine cellars as a restaurant in the Northeast. Oh, we didn't know that. Phenomenal. We like wine, too. We just yeah. think we're really dumb with it. Wow. Well, you know. I'm more of like a Boone's Farm kind of guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like to age it for at least three months. Well, we, we also uh, <laughs> were pleasantly surprised to know that there was a natural beer connection. Um, yeah. You are also a designer. Yeah. Uh, intoxicate yeah. Communications. Communicate. Communicate Commun- media. Oh, I know. There's I trained to me all of a sudden. Ah. Wait, this segment was brought to you by <laughs> Communicate. 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 <laughs> With a K. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you designed the, uh, yes. the labels for the this. For Subtropical Sour for, for Yonkers Brand Company. I did help them out with that label. And this yeah. is with guava. Now, I got this from John uh, and Nick in the fall. Okay. And I could, and they gave me a four pack of it, and I drank the other three, but I could not get rid of this last one because I love it so much. It's really nice label. I mean, wow. not, you did not a great like, job. You know. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it actually came out really nice, printing wise and everything. It's pretty cool. It, 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 feels, it even feels good. You can't feel things yeah. right now. Does it but feel warm because it's no. tropical and we're freezing our asses <laughs> off out here? No, you can't <laughs> touch it. <laughs> Turn the fire. That's why Sean's kept it around for the whole winter. But so he can stay I brought warm. Amy into the, my refrigerator to help me pick out because I had all these freaking beers, and she was like, "We gotta." Do that. Wow. So, Amy, I think we should uh, we should open this up. Yeah, uh, let's bring some warmth to the Sex slide. Panther. Let's have That's the only thing with Sex Panther. Panther. You gotta kill it. Cheers to the Sex Cheers Panther. The sex Panther. Uh, I you're don't know what happened this yeah, I think I, I drank that already. I drank it already. It's gone. All right, why. now we have to do a brewery rinse. Uh, this is the other thing that we do here. Uh, you're familiar because I'm, I'm familiar now. Yeah. yeah. You just take a little bit in, swirl it around, and then drink it real quick because it's a little uh, aperitif. Yeah. I'm going to finish this one. Yeah. A little aperitif. Is that, is that, a, te- is that technical? Aperitif. That is technical. Like He's got a meeting in the morning. I've got a meeting Ooh, in the morning. Ooh, that's probable. So I'll, I'll have a yeah. little bit more later. Hold on. i got to do my beer rinse. Do you beer rinse? You have a meeting in the morning? Oh, God, a that's meeting good. in the morning You brought Intoxicate on your show, and you have a meeting in the morning? Such hey, words. Intoxicate? <laughs> I don't. I tried to push the meeting. <laughs> we're good to go. I don't either. I tried to push the meeting until 11, in, right? and uh, they were like, no, 9.30 in Brooklyn. And I was like, no, what about 11? So this is what the beer looks like, guys. No bueno. Unadulterated. Amy, this for you later. Yeah. Just so you know, um, Amy's I'm going to put... doing a great job with that camera, by the way. She, she is, awesome. right? She's so fantastic. still. You don't know. She's actually moving around. Yeah. It's just very still. Yeah. Steady <laughs> Very, very steady. She's doing the dance back there. So this is a beautiful looking beer. This is a, it's a Goza, am I right? It's a guava, guava sour, sour yeah. kettle sour, wheat beer with a sharp lactic note right. balanced feeling left out. by a slightly fruit sweetness from pink guava fruit. No, screw you. Feeling left out, man. All right, here's a little bit of 
got to be right. You do have to. You yeah. got to be right. You don't want to taste the other the sex paper. Ooh, right? I mean, it's nice little. The great thing that I think about kettle sours um, or, or any type of like goza mm-hmm. is that they're going to clean your palate. Yes. Like all of the things that like the, the dark stout, mm-hmm. even the hoppy uh, hoppiness from the wheat or the IPAs that I drank previously are now gone. Yeah. Same I've got right. a nice dryness in my mouth. Yeah. I like that. So okay. We uh, we ask our guests three questions, Uh-oh. and okay. um, they're they tough. are they're, they're tough. tough they're very tough they're questions. Tough. I you will be judged you, by this. Yeah. brought to you by Three Industries. <laughs> no, yeah. you've gotten enough Three, three Industries. Three, three. Man. So, okay, uh, we always uh, uh, okay. So, so we're asking our neighbor three questions. Three questions. Very very hard questions. Very okay. difficult okay. questions. Okay. Are but you but they mean a lot for us. All right. Are you prepared? I'm prepared. It really tells us a lot about you, but we're not going to judge you either way. It's just like we want to. No. Oh, I'm going to judge. No, no, I'm not to judge. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> oh, you're a judger. Judge-free zone. Judge-free zone. Is a fraud, a judge-free Tol- Fence bar is judge-free of everything. It's okay. a judge-free Everything fence. that's okay. consumed here or talked about here is, is, is fair game. It's okay. snowing. Okay. But the first question is, what is in your refrigerator again? What beer? What beer specifically? Beer is in my refrigerator. Not what you love, not what you want to have in there, but like... I'll be honest, right now I have Guinness. Yeah, yeah it's the season. And that is because, uh, you know, St. Patrick's Day is around the corner, and I make this killer um, car bomb cake with oh. Guinness. Oh, car bomb cake. Where have you, did you bring some? I, <laughs> Dude. I usually make it fresh on Saturday. Uh, so that's, that's what nice. is in that's my Patrick's fridge day. right now. We jumped the gun a little bit and had our. Uh, well, last Patty. week we did the St. Yeah. Patrick's Day segment. Okay. We drank Day the segment. Guinness in the pub yeah. draft, and we also did it in just the regular 22 ounce bottle. Okay. Uh, or did, you, did you know milliliter? that there was a widget, an actual little ball inside of the Guinnesses? Yes. You did, of yes, course you did, because you're intoxicated. I did know that, and I know that um, it, this is just funny enough with with Yonkers Brewing Company. They did that oatmeal nitro shot, oh, and yeah. for some reason they didn't need that ball. There was some kind of like. Technology. You can nitrogenate. You can nitrogenate stuff now, but I don't know how to do it. I mean, yeah. as, as a brewer goes, uh, yeah. we had some neighbors actually uh, we had uh, contact hand. us and tell us that there was something wrong about the facts we had. We did left hand brewing the, the, the nitrous, their nitro. But we're well, not going to get into details, right? They just said that you have to, yeah, well, first of all, we'll correct, that, we'll correct that later. Oh, okay. uh, which is nitrogenated, uh, which is not nitrous oxide. Otherwise, you'd be at a fish concert or, or the balloon. <laughs> um, but also, we don't the, talk about things the left hand, you need to pour <laughs> it fast. Uh, yeah. Which yeah. we did not do. No, pour oh. it hard. Pour it. That, and, that, and that is from uh, our good friend, what's his name? He has a great name. The Dude Abides. Yeah, the Dude Abides. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Thanks to the Dude Abides on right. Instagram. Right. That was good yeah, feedback. Thank you for that. Right. Question number two. Okay. When you are purchasing beer for a party, you're okay. a party what's your strategy? Girl what do you in get? Your party okay. world. All right. Uh, strategy usually for a party is mix. 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 Uh-huh. You know, everybody's got their, it's a buffet. Their yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta make it. You gotta yeah. bring it. But what's you your, what's your base? You gotta have to have a base for a party. There's well, gonna be one thing you're gonna buy more of. What, what is that? For? Uh, generally, it's the happier the IPAs. Yeah. That's, you know, everybody's favorite. Kids love them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, my whole thing is when I go, same thing. I try to get the mix, uh-huh. but when I get like my base, it's like the dilly dilly and the light beers. I guess it's just because of my friends. So you have friends well, who yeah. appreciate the hoppier the stuff. The hoppier stuff, and then I do usually get a pretty good amount of like lighter beers because uh-huh. I do have friends that are like venturing into the craft beer world. So what would so an example like, of that be? Well they like love like the Coronas. Yeah, you know? sure. yeah, yeah, the Coronas. The Coronas. I like that. They're not, they're not, they're not venturing. Amy's doing a little pop. Yeah. She loves the Coronas. Like, they're not Coronas. venturing yeah. very far. Like craft beer to me obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you know I try to pick something up. I usually you know uh, try to check out what's new and mm-hmm. try to pick up something that's a little bit on the lighter side. Yeah. For Sean's people. strategy is going for the four major food groups right? I do a mm-hmm. wide variety of IPAs Okay. Uh, because that is what what people are generally going to drink. Mm-hmm. Um, then I'm going to do a wheat beer. Okay. So maybe actually this would be a perfect one. The wheat yeah. noise that was a good yeah. one. would that be a perfect really beer one. for that. But I, I like to do like Omega oh Anguita or Algash White, okay. uh, something something like that. I, I don't. I tend not to do the Blue Moon just because I'm, mm-hmm. I like to support my uh, local craft brewers more than I do uh, big business. Right. Um, and then I'll do a, uh, a Dad Light. Of some sort. Like Have you a, heard of the dad, dad light? light? I, no, I mean, you guys just explained <laughs> it's, the dad or light. Or a mom light. Yeah. Or so I'd like to do a Pivo pills, yeah. Uh, yeah, some, something, something like that. Or, yeah. It's things to help you get to your meeting in the morning. Mm-hmm. But that's me. That's me. And the last one is just crazy wild card. It could be this uh, one-year-old iconic vexed 
uh, we're beer. selling that. We're selling that for a future episode. Yeah. We're not gonna open right. that I definitely want to interview about you guys oh, about that cellar. cellar. We also have yeah. some uh, iconic beer. Uh, John from uh, Iconic brought by his New England style IPA. Okay. So I guess that'll, that'll be our next little sidecar. Okay. But third question. Question third number question. three. Third question. Everybody's favorite one. Yeah. Your best memory involving beer, whether it's exciting, oh first gosh. sip, la- uh, and the thing you know, is, when you say memory. best memory, best memory with a beer, it could yeah. be it doesn't it, be anything. it doesn't mean it's good. Sean's well, last, like, Sean's <laughs> best memory <laughs> is his last memory, yeah, because he okay. can't remember any of the other ones. I have such anything. a great time every time. Tomorrow, <laughs> Sean's best memory is going to be tonight. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and I, I still don't remember. It's it. like a goldfish. <laughs> that is hysterical. You guys are so funny. I have to think. That's a tough one. Oh. Best memory. I haven't thought about it ever. I Something. Know. Oh, give I me a concert. Uh, I don't know. Beach. Concert. Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, hand, beach and beer go hand in beach hand. Right? Beach and beer. They really beer do. Go hand in hand. So I think anytime I think of beer, I think I'm like on the beach enjoying like shucking oysters, oh. having some raw oysters. What are you going to drink with that raw oyster? Right? I don't. Are you going to go with an oyster goodness. stout, or are you going to go with the Guinness? Yeah. Are you going to go with the lager? Probably the lager. Are you going with the dad light? Lager. Yeah. Yeah. Lager. Light. light. Light and refreshing. Yeah. Light. Yeah. Yeah. Light. you got to stay hydrated out there. Stay hydrated. you got to stay hydrated out there. It's a lot of work to shuck it. It's going to be like the, the feel good. It's like that mother <laughs> shucker. Give me, give me that light beer. Oh, oh that's amazing. <laughs> the well. feel good Mr. Rogers moment. <laughs> yeah. That's Make sure you stay hydrated. That's it. That's it. And we, and we do that with our, our mom and dad light. Dad light. I was drinking a lot of water. I'm not going to lie. You really are. Well, you have yeah. a busy, busy day tomorrow. I do not. So. Good. So uh, after the last, so the last weekend's uh, Beer Brains episode was about the Guinnesses and the Stouts and the Porters. And then we it's went to the lot. Russian Imperial Stouts, oh, my the Barrel Age oh, Porters, yeah. the Barrel Age Stouts, and it got a little uh, So I didn't crazy. start feeling, yeah. uh, sloppy. I didn't start feeling like I could have a meeting until Saturday. Yeah. Uh, there's no meeting us on Saturday, so... Uh, yeah, you're so good. <laughs> Normally we film on Thursday, but Wednesday we had to do it this because of uh, where it is right, yeah. right now. I mean, mm-hmm. we, the way the season is. Okay, and it's snowing. Yeah. Again, it's snowing, and I really, uh, awesome. I, I, I like it. This has been great. It's been great yeah. with you guys. Now, you guys have to be on my show now. We're going to be on Would your you show. have us? Yeah, yeah. So have, come on my show. Can you tell uh, people where they can find you and how they can find you? Yeah, of course. And, and look into that camera I'll right there. I'll look into there, the camera I know we right got you on the other side I know, of the I'm, I'm, li- I'm like right here with no, you guys. No, you're good. Yeah, you're yeah, good. yeah. Uh, I like it, in- <laughs> <laughs> Intoxicate with a K, intoxicate.com. Uh, you can listen to the show Fork This with Intoxicate Tuesdays at 6 p.m. on 1490 WGCH. 1490 And Westchester Talk Radio Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Live? Uh, yeah. Live. Wow. We're live. We're live on tape. Well, I hope you'll stay warm by our huge fire. Yeah, yes, please. And you have to that. come back and help us rank the beers at the end of the show, please. Yeah, so Sounds we're going to do the beer brains, and we're going to do a little beer report, and then Perfect. maybe maybe you can come back for beer report, because I think you might have some uh, fun things that are happening. In the, in you course. are the original beer like, we report. We would look for you. <laughs> like, we, you are our beer report. Yeah, you are That's our beer report. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds thank good. you. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks. Beer, beer brains, brains, beer brains, brains beer, beer brains. brains. That's the name of this segment is Beer Brains. Now I don't Beer know. Brains is brought to you by is brought by Schmaltz Brewing Company, Schmaltz. Alphabet, Alphabet City, City Brewing, Brewing Company, Company, and Iconic Brewing Company. So we got Long Island City, uh, the East Village, and uh, Clifton Park. And why are they our sponsors? Because they, they brought gave beer, us beer to the Prince Bar. I mean that's pretty much how what it takes. If Thanks, you neighbors. Have, Howdy neighbors. Howdy Thank neighbors. you so much. Thank neighbor you. neighbor Pat and neighbor John. John. Yeah. They, they both came through strong. Thanks, and uh, guys. So thanks, guys. Thanks I think uh, the first beer that we're going to drink is actually uh, from Schmaltz Brewing Company, and it is Captain's Holiday. Um, they own the rights to Star Trek, and this is a Star Trek beer. This is a, uh, a Citra IPA. Does that have anything to do with uh, a, Stephen Hawking? Uh, well, for us, it's a 30th anniversary uh, brewed with natural citrus flavors, but Stephen Hawkins died yesterday. Yeah. So he took the ultimate captain's holiday. So I think uh, uh, for him, we should drink this beer. This is to you, yeah, Stephen. Yeah, Stephen. This is for you, Stephen. Wow. Thank you, Stephen. Well, that's wow, too, too, that, too soon. Dog. Is that too soon? Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> too soon. All right, give me, give me your glass there, Mikey Tables. There you go. Very good. And so then, what uh, what are we talking about, Beer Reigns? The first uh, episode of Beer Reigns. Yep was all about the uh, yeast fermentation. Right. Ales. Ales. Top fermenting yeast. Top. <laughs> Lagers. <laughs> Bottom fermenting. <laughs> and then, then, then the yeast went... 
And it ate up all those sugars, and it created CO2, CO2. and alcohol. And, and we learned that basically yeast produces a byproduct that is alcohol. Yep. That's what gets you drunk. So now we're going to talk about the four in main ingredients that are in beer. What are in they? In general. What are they? Well, the first one is... Yeast. Uh, well, we're not oh. going to talk about yeast first, but yeast, yeast is, is actually going to be... We're going to talk about that fourth, and I'll tell you why. The first one is water. And the reason why it's water is because it's 95% of beer is made up of water. That's why we've got to pee all the time. Uh, it's a big reason. <laughs> it certainly is. But also, uh, the, the big thing is the alkaline levels. Yeah, so is it is uh, water like uh, you get your New York bagels because the water is so good, or your New Similar. York pizza because the, the so water is so good? The one thing that I don't think people understand within the brewing, uh, in brewing beer, chemistry plays such a huge part. And you need to make sure that your alkaline levels of your water are consistent and that you're going to be able to replicate your beer over and over again. I mean, that's what production breweries do. Um, so that's why it's so important. We've got the we've got some of the best water in the world. Our watershed uh, up here. Crone Reservoir Does delivering right. the water to everybody around here. What's our second ingredient? Our second ingredient is grain. So the, the, the thing that gives you the color in beer, the thing that gives you a lot of the, the flavor profile, mm. I would say more than anything else, would be malted barley. So if you're thinking about the four main ingredients, we're not talking about anything else yet. We're just talking uh -huh. about malted barley. However, there's a thing called a what? Do you remember it? Uh, it's the adjunct. Adjunct. An adjunct ingredient is a, any other type of fermentable sugar. Uh, it could be a grain, a cereal grain, or something else like a honey or a Belgian candied sugar. But those are ingredients that are also used to create alcohol, but they're not what would be considered the four main ingredients, right. which is malted barley. Yes. Yeah, so, so you need you need malted barley or an adjunct ingredient or a mixture of them I mean, or the a mixture the recipe is going to uh, is going to dictate that but the reason is is that if you think you about it 1516 and the Rhein Hatschgebot <laughs> uh, in Germany the German purity law of 1516 which we actually have a uh, I think we have a, a lager that you brought the Hocker the Hocker Spackers Munich Gold uh, we'll call it Munich Gold Munich Gold um, the it, Hocker it adheres to the Rhein Hatschgebot now, the Reinhashkabat is probably the oldest form of modern-day legislation that protects both the food consumer and also regulatories towards the breweries and the ingredients <laughs> that they use. Neighbor Sean, that's a mouthful. You're going to have to slow it down. Reinhashkabat. So what happened in 1516? Uh, basically, there was a fight between the bakers yeah. and the brewers, and there were some other breweries that were putting like sawdust and like hay and in So their Germany beer. had to say, no, no, no! We must tax you! We must tax you! We're going to tax you on the ingredients! <laughs> it is the way we do it! I love it. Uh, and so, so that from that is where it began. And when uh, the Reinhardt first began, there was three <laughs> ingredients. It was Walter. Walter. <laughs> Walter! Uh, water. I don't know who uh, Malted is. barley. And then the third ingredient, hops. 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 Now, hops are the, they are a, uh, a flower. They, they grow um, and <laughs> they grow. It's like that. That's very specific. <laughs> but they're used primarily in beer in two different ways. Uh, their first way is as a bittering hop. Now, a bittering hop is a hop that you're going to use inside the boil when you're creating your beer. First hey, of all, hey, you lost me. All right, we're, I don't want to get too. You got to shut it down for me a little bit here. I understand. We've got the water. We got, got the grain. The, the grain. The grain is your malted barley or adjunct. It is. It is. It is ultimately going to be the sugar. That is what the that yeast eats is gonna up eat to, to create the, <laughs> the alcohol. Right. Yes, but so you have to have malted barley or adjunct, whatever that adjunct is. Yes. What kind of, what other adjunct ingredients are there's there out rye, there? There's rye, there's wheat, yep. uh, there's what kind corn, of, what kind of breweries, there's rice. What kind of breweries use the adjunct? Well, the macro breweries. Uh, so we're talking about your Bud Light, your Budweiser, Miller, your Miller's, your Coors. Coors. They will use uh, corn and rice as a cheap... Um, sugar substitute. So they're making cheap beer, and that's the easiest way to make cheap beer. Yeah, pretty more much. More or less. Now, they're still going to use malted barley All right. uh, in their ingredients, but they're going to use a lot more of the rice and the corn because they're going to get cheaper fermentable sugars, and they're brewing it on a large scale. Got Subsidies it. Water. Dog. Subsidies, dog. That's right. Uh, and water, malted barley, dog. adjunct, yep. and then... Hops. Hops. So now hops are where you're going to get your uh, a lot the, the where the grain gives you the color. That's your flower. 
uh, the, the hops are the flowers. Flowers. They're going to give you your bittering. So when you drink a beer and you taste the bitterness... Are we talking about aromatics? No, we're talking about bittering hops. Okay. So those hops are added after the grain goes through. It goes through a mill. And it goes into a, a, a big a big thing called a louder ton. We'll talk about the brewing principles later. Yep. The processes. But after the grain gets separated from the husk, and you have this like sweet, sweet syrup, it's called wort, you add hops into the boil. Wort. 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 And, and that becomes wort. That is the beginning of beer, is wort. wort. So you're adding hops that are used for bittering specifically and flavor. All right. So, so hops is for bittering and flavor. But wait, there's more. All right. <laughs> it's all right. not sold in. It's actually sold in a lot of stores. But the second <laughs> one is called a finishing hop, and the finishing hop is used for the aromatics that you were talking about. All right. So at the end of the boil, with, before you're transferring it over into your fermentation vessels, you're going to add in other hops while the wa while, while the water is still hot. Yep. Uh, going through a whirlpool, maybe. Breweries do it different ways, yep. and that's what's going to give you your, your aromatics. Cool. And what's our fourth ingredient? My favorite. Yeast. The yeast. The yeast. The yeast is alive. The yeast is alive, and the yeast is what actually makes uh, the wort into beer. The Bef yeast is actually what creates eats the CO2. The sugar. Eats the sugars and creates the alcohol. <laughs> that is everybody's it, favorite it, ingredient, <laughs> people. <yeah. laughs> Well, never mind. Here's science, the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you think about uh, the 1516 German purity law, Ryan Heischgebot. It did not recognize yeast as one of the ingredients. One to one. It hadn't been invented. Nobody knew what it was. They had no idea what made this magical, so this they magical actually know. particulate that was in the air. This this amoeba of bacteria that came through and did all of that work. It wasn't until Louis Pasteur in the uh, 18th century. When they discovered what yeast was, so do you need that it was added? So uh, there's been amendments since then because the German purity law is a real fucking deal. People, Google it. Yeah, <laughs> it's the real <laughs> deal. Ryan Heisenbach. Um, yeah. So people I'm need a really good yeast uh, to be able to create a good beer. Certainly, yes or no. So there's a lot of different yeasts that are out there. Uh, there's a lot where of do you get your yeast from? How do I get yeast? Uh, I, I would say for as a casual home brewer, you're going to probably go to your, your local store and they're going to give you a wide range of yeasts that are, have numbers in them. Wait, your local store, like your supermarket? Like Mamaronek Half Time. Uh, oh, oh, a so homebrew I'm, shop. Okay, no, okay, okay, okay. A specialty Got shop. Got it. But if you're a production brewer, you're going to go to, like, uh, there's a, there's a, the biggest yeast, um, yeast farm is White Labs. In White Labs? White Labs in California. And they basically are the biggest people that make the, make, make the hops. Uh, not the hops. The yeast. The yeast! The yeast. And, but different yeast can be used for different styles of beer. Love it. Yeah, so those are the four ingredients. Now, I would like to also say that there's another form of a hop addition, our third ingredient, hops, that a lot of people nowadays are doing, such as our friends at Iconic Brewery in Long Island City. Thank you for bringing your delicious beer to the fence. We need this. I got to drink. Oops, Psychar open. Psychar open. So, this so is what's a, Iconic doing that? Uh, well, this particular is beer is their New England style IPA. And what happens with that particular style, I think we're all familiar with it. If you're not, it's the it's the IPA that most people go, oh, I kind of like IPAs. I didn't think I like them. Because it tastes like grapefruit juice. Uh, whereas a, a traditional uh, IPA, West Coast IPA, American style, was going to have Are bitterness. you making fun of me? Yes. Uh, I'm actually making fun of the people that have eight different New England style IPAs on their draft list and not one West Coast IPA. Sidecar? Sidecar. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Go big, big boy. One. Go big boy. Oh, so, God. So, so this New England style good, IPA, good, good. there's a good, heavy good. addition uh, of hops that happen called dry hops. Now, dry hops doesn't mean that you're just dry. It's not just, it's not dry. You're introducing this instead of being on the hot side. The hot side, like when you're adding hops into the boil, yep. or into the kettle yep. for bittering, mm -hmm. or you're adding it into the whirlpool after the wort's been created for the aromatics, yep. this is an introducing a hop after it cools down. It goes through a heat exchange cool. where it gets to a temperature that you can now ferment the beer at, 68 degrees or less. Yep. Um, and then you add, a, a home brewer will put a, a satchel and muslin bag of hops, and they'll, they'll teabag it. They'll teabag it. But there's other ways that you can do it. There's there's hop backs, there's hop rockets. But when someone says dry hops, it means that they're, they're adding it on the cold on the cold side. side. All right. Well, let me talk about the cold side because it's fucking snowing right now. It's cold out here, man. All right. So four crazy. ingredients: mm. water, whoa, water, grain, malted barley, malted barley or adjunct, uh, hops, yes, uh, yeast. Hops 
during the uh, hops. wart and dry hopping when it's cold. Maybe. It could just be a finishing hop. And then the Not best everybody dry hops. of all, your live yeast. Because without yeast, people, we don't have the CO2. We need that, we need that man. We need that. Alcohol. Free yeasty. Dude, great beer brain segment. All right. So best that's, yet. Uh, you think so? It's my favorite. I hope you guys learn a little bit something more. We'll be talking more in subsequent uh, beer brains about hop varietals. Rain uh, types of different malted barley uh, and all that stuff. We'll get a little bit more deeper, but uh, but awesome. there you go. That's it. Without without the red hot chocolate 1516, we would we could be doing a lot of different things. But uh, thank you, iconic. Thank you, Schmaltz. Thank, thank you, you, Alphabet City. Thank you. Uh, I think I said all. You of did them all. Yes, I did. Look at that guy. And we're on to beer report. Are we doing events like beer report? Beer report. Beer report. He goes to beer report. Are we sure? I think we're going to Fence Life! The Let's third go episode. to my backyard! Okay, we're going to go to Fence Life now. <laughs> when we go to no. Fence Life, we're going to do it. You're going to notice something like right now. It's Ooh. very dark. Meh, meh. It's, it's so second. dark. I need my Fence Life to get lighter. We're going to explain back to things the like Oh, man. Sure it's got, got a lot, lot lighter a out lot here. A lot brighter out here, man. That's yeah. some good beer we're drinking. Hell yeah, dude. Let's so we're out here for lights. Fence Life. That's it. Tell me a little something about Fence Life. What are we learning today? Uh, So Fence Life is really about... Uh, taking a little bit of the fence right. aspects that we do here and taking it back to your place. You know, yeah. you don't have to have a, a shiny fence. You don't have to have the best beers. You just need a neighbor. And you, you need, need a neighbor and you need with. something to do. Because, I mean, just having beer <laughs> seems right. like it's good enough. But often, it's nice to have something to look at. And I think a fire can replace any television, video game, anything, any sports match that you're going to watch. First, I know you guys like cricket out there. First week segment was about... Firestarter. Yes. And for Firestarter, you need three main ingredients from your house. You need dryer lint, which we've got right here. Or from the belly button the, lint. This is Hassan dryer lint. Yeah, and a little bit of belly button. McCain and a little lint. bit of McCain belly button lint. For flavor. You need a uh, carton, egg carton, or a cardboard, cardboard egg carton. Cardboard, please. And a little bit of wax. That's the secret ingredient, isn't it? And with that, you put that all together, you light it, and that is your fuel to get your first fire going. Awesome. But before you do that, you, gotta have, you have to have some place to put it, right? Now, why do we need a fire pit, Sean? Well, you want to make sure that you're containing the fire. Because those embers get hot and they start moving around. And fire you... is not a very structurally sound thing. And, and no. to build a good fire, you need to stack it so that the fire gets going and starts going. So, I got a question. Yeah. How far away from like my domicile should I put together my, uh, my fire ring? Generally speaking, you want to be at least 20 feet away. 20 feet? Uh, 20 feet's a good distance. Okay. If you're one of the nervous types, you might want to make it 50 feet. Okay. Uh, but 20 foot minimum, 50 feet if you if you have the space. And make sure you're not near any uh, brushes or uh, so anything that's flammable. any like, embers that fly, they don't get uh, caught on fire. Very good. All right, so talk to me about how round should it be? Like, if I'm just going to be going out to, to start a fire that's only going to last me a couple of days or a couple of nights, temporary setting. What temporary you... setting is the best kind of fire. I mean, okay. you can build a ridiculous fire. What do I need for that, though? Uh, for the temporary setting? Yeah. All you need are a few rocks. Okay. And, uh, is that what we got here? That's what we got there. And with these rocks, you can basically build a fire pit in about 15 minutes. If your friends are coming over and you want to hang out and you've got nothing better to do, or if they're not very interesting and they don't have <laughs> much to talk about, then just get a fire pit going. And then you look at the fires. You and just the fires stare the at it and you. drink beers. And so you want like softball size, is that right? Softball size. And um, depending on how big you want your fire pit to be, generally speaking, when we make our fire pit, we're doing about a three foot radius. Okay. That, that allows you to get a good fire going. Yeah. We're going to make a, a small fire today. Okay. A uh, small fire pit. And you need... Start off with the four biggest rocks. Okay. And we'll put them in a like a cross a almost. A cross. Yeah. We'll put them in a cross. Okay. And then we'll start there and then we'll just fill it up all the way around. Okay. All right, this is a uh, that's pretty close. It's, it's a shoddy fire pit. But you know, you get the idea. You want to make sure that you have enough that's going to be able to support the size of your fire. And right now we have a uh, we have a, a we're going to just do a small fire uh, for this example. But you'd probably want if you're going to do anything. You got to tighten this up a little bit, Sean McCain. Well, you, that's what I'd need to learn, man. Oh, you're the dude, fire master. You got to tighten this up. So 
we obviously don't have enough stones for the size of the pit that I was first trying to make. So yeah. we got to bring it in a little bit. Okay. Um, or get more stones. But I think for this segment, for this let's segment, keep it short. We're going to keep it nice and short. Yeah. Uh, we got to figure out what we're doing with fence life. What about kindling? Do you, you put the kindling in Tune here in next week kindling for next, next episode. The lighting of the fire starter. With the fire starter, with the kindling, in the fire pit. Let's, not, let, let's, let's give them a little bit of time. We're just going to light it next week. Tune in. We're going to light the fire starter. I let's like see it. what that looks like. I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's do it. Fence life. Love it. Back to the fence bar. Back to the fence bar. <laughs> What segment is this? Beer report! Beer report! Beer report! Beer report! That's all right. He says that this is his favorite segment, but he knows it's really beer brain. All right, so this week we got a bunch of things going on, and it, actually we're going to have to bring in uh, Intoxicate back in, because I think we're gonna have she, to bring the expert in. she knows some stuff that uh, we need to talk about to the people with. Yeah. But, so but what, we, happened, what happened on Beer Report, uh, on beer report last, last week? week we talked about going to, uh, to Chico and Sons in Millwood to get your uh, Guinness glass engraved. And, and, and we got them in great. We got, it, but we don't have any beer in it. So why don't we load it up with uh, yeah, their, the up. favorite beer at uh, the Chicos of Millwood, Re-Raise. It's Re-Raise. This is Interboro collaborating with Barrier Brewing Company, Industrial Arts, and Wait, hold on. Parton. I got sausages. You got sausages. That's <laughs> phenomenal. What are you gonna do with those sausages? You get, get come on. We got to keep going with the beer report. I'm sorry, your sausages are great and all that, but what? Um, so uh, we oh, got all that. these all these great breweries. So four breweries. Yep. Uh, they all interchange. Is there a rap group? They, is there a rap group? Yeah, no a rap one? group, man. It's just four great breweries that went to each other's breweries and they remade this beer and they're re-raising it. Re-raise to each one of them. So re-raise is a, obviously a poker reference where you raise and then you re-raise. Yeah. Oh my God! Is so this beer brains or poker brains? Dude, I don't know. But can we cheers me? That's the one I just poured oh. you. So why don't you uh, cheers? All right. So we got. First of all, to Chico and Sons, because they did such a great help with us with this Guinness etched glasses. By the way, if you catch this episode tomorrow, they're going to also be etching these glasses at the Pelham location on March 16th, the day before St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Okay, but also on March 24th, they're doing the Pesh Mortal Day Pesh from Brewery de, de Sel from Montreal is coming in and they're doing a tap takeover. They're only one of uh, 18 bars in the United States that are doing this event. So that's in the Armont location. Check it out. Pesh right. Mortal Day. Pesh Mortal Day. The Oath, as I said last week, uh, the Founders is doing a beer dinner there on March 20th. That's <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> then we're going on to Captain Lawrence. Captain Lawrence, Mikey Tables. What's the beer they're releasing on Friday? Nice Shades. Nice Shades, man. Nice Shades Brewery only release. I wear my, my sunglasses at night nice. so my green shades won't get dirty. I love it. Green shades for St. Patrick's Day. And we're also drinking Tears of Green uh, from Captain Lawrence. It's a green out. Which is the sidecar. This, That's our sidecar. This car. is a good beer, mm. by the way. Okay, so also we're moving on to uh, other events. We're going to uh, the Green Growler. Now, St. Patrick's Day is upon us, mother. Fuckers. If you're Irish, a poor, of course you are all Irish on March 17th. Of course. As an Irishman, that doesn't necessarily make me happy. But you can make your own luck at the Green Growler this Saturday. How do I make my luck, Sean? How $5 I make my luck? lager and stout points all day with complimentary Whoa. Irish food. Love Go it. to Croton on Hudson. Get your Irish on. What's better than free? Uh, nothing. 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 But and what is the next thing? Peak Skill Brewery is also doing something similar. They're doing kegs and eggs on St. Patrick's Day. They're also doing a little stout. They're doing a little lager. Doing a lot of fun. So check out if you're in Peak Skill. Go hit them on uh, this Saturday. St. Patrick's Day on a Saturday is just dangerous, people, because you know you have Sunday <laughs> off. We all got Sunday <laughs> off. And we have that sixth day that we can maybe take on Monday because Saturday was too good of a day. <laughs> or a night. So St. Patrick's Day is like a three-day holiday. Holiday. Uh, for me, my whole life is that. <laughs> then uh, we uh, actually intoxicate. I think you need to intox to educate. Intox to educate. Intoxicate. Intoxicate. Educate. Yeah. So this is this is like getting it straight from the source, where yeah. you don't even have to go to Instagram. <laughs> you get it straight from Steven, the tap. Just in, this <laughs> open up the tap and just flying well, over Westchester County. Yeah. We're looking at on intoxicate and. <laughs> I love this. I feel like I need you guys on the radio. Oh, uh, <laughs> we uh, we're in the middle of Hudson Valley Restaurant Week, so that's hot. Damn. Monday. 
week. That was last Monday. It runs for how long? It runs until the 25th. The 25th. Still in the week. How many restaurants are participating? It's like hundreds of restaurants. Hundreds. In seven different counties. Seven different counties. And your deal is 32.95 for three courses for dinner, and then 22.95 for three courses for lunch. So it depends. Some restaurants are just doing dinner. Some, some are doing lunch. Are doing and dinner. lunch. Is there a website where you can find all the restaurants? You can do it. Go ahead to straightintoxicate.com. Intoxicate.com. Intoxicate.com. Because I'm also not only giving you the lowdown on who's participating, but yep. I'm also giving you my favorite. Harper's. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Harper's. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Harper's was our. Hey, I got to have you. Finu Brew. Virtual House. Harper's was our. Harper's was our. What up? Harper's was our last uh, week's uh, sponsor. They were. Oh, and very nice. neighbor Mike goes to Harper's to get his focal banger and his sip of sunshine. 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 I love that sip of sunshine. And also, if you'd like to head to New Canaan and Connecticut a little bit. All right. You feel that's like outside that's of Westchester. Outside New Canaan. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it called New Canaan? New Canaan. New, new Canaan. 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 I love New Canaan. It's like Target. <laughs> this is very um, nice. The Roger Sherman Inn, fantastic Roger place. Roger Sherman Inn. Roger Sherman Inn. They have this amazing chef. His name is Francois Quacadongo. Francois Quacadongo. What? Yeah, Quacadongo. Yeah, Quacadongo. 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 He's, it's a mouthful. He's a fantastic How would Stephen Hawking say that? I have no idea. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. What else is happening? But they're doing a beer dinner on March 29th with Yonkers Brewing Company. Oh. I believe it's a four course for Ooh. seven dollars per person. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. I mean, tons of stuff. And uh, Huntsman Valley uh, Restaurant Week is huge. It's yeah. huge. You know, yeah. and yeah. what a great opportunity. Thirty-two bucks basically. You're all in for three courses for dinner. Yeah. Can't like beat 20 it. Twenty what for a lunch? Twenty-two ninety-five. Twenty-three for lunch. Yeah. You Can't know? beat it. But go I, to intoxicate.com. Yeah. Gives you a chance to go to a lot of different places that you haven't been before um, and support your local restaurant tours. That's yes. true. That's, That's true. what it's about, man. Support local. Very good. You got I it. hope uh, you're hanging out. We've drank a lot of beers tonight. We have, have to we enough? rank our beers for the mm. evening. Okay. And okay. This is you got to stay here for this. Uh, right. This is our Fence Bar Beer Podium. Okay. We've done this for a long time uh, before we had this fancy uh, fence uh, <laughs> thing over fancy. here. I like this, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we'd, we'd always be out here drinking beers, right. and at the end of the night, we'd be like, what beers did we like the best? Okay. Let's rank them. So we had to figure okay. out a way, so we built this amazing uh, I mean, it's pedestal. Pretty, I mean, this is Olympic quality. Yes. Right yeah. Well, it first is. of all, should we open up the mint, Amy? Cause Amy, do you mint, want the mint? mint? I want it. You Come want on, the guys. mint? Let's open oh, it up. Let's nah, open it up. we're not, not opening open up the mint. Off. It could be here, man. The mint could be, but it's not going to be. We're I bet you it's so awesome. Next we're going to open up the mint next week. So, um, I th I don't know if it's like uh, the one. case of the last thing that touched your mouth, yeah. but this was a delicious The beer. remix, or the re-raise, The re-raise. You know what? I got to tell you, not just because she designed the artwork for it, uh, there that, might, this, is, this might be an inside job over here. This was the perfect, <laughs> uh, perfect palate cleanser, mm -hmm. it refresher, like it, it reinvigorated me. It was, it After was all right. of the stout, we had a lot of stouts, we, we had did. a lot of uh, IPAs. Um, un unfortunately, the Star Trek beers did not make it, although we really appreciate your life. <laughs> Sorry, um, Steven. <laughs> Sex Panther. Sex yeah, Panther's up there. Yeah. Sex yeah. Panther's yeah. got to be three. three. Can, can we just give it the respect it deserves, and uh, what's it actually called? It's uh, called Panther. 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 Called Panther. Run the Jewels. Run the Jewels. The rap group. The, the group. Yes, the group. They, they, okay, they, they, they perform yeah. rap, right. but yes, they are a group. Run the but Jewels. I just want to make sure they're not a, a brewery. They're, no, they're a, a musical act. Musical act. <laughs> uh, Pipeworks. My mind's blown. And me. Innerborough. All right, so there you go. Uh, and then we, I would say the... Well, this this was delicious. That was really that was the Tears good. of Green yeah, is going to be an honorable mention. I think we got to go... Honestly, yeah. we drank this off camera. Um, I could almost do that to it because Ooh. it was such it a was spectacular delicious. beer. It was really good. Uh, it's one of my favorite beers, and it's in a can now. It's kind of uh, it's ridiculous. We have to rank the beers at the end of the show, but this is a fluid situation it tonight. Is. So you it have is. to check us out on Instagram and see if these the beers result? hold up. I'm yeah. thinking. I'm thinking this. I'm feeling pretty confident with this. Do we have a shock? Do we have a shed? Hall of Fame. Whoa, uh, where? Uh, Hall of Fame. <laughs> Where's the, the shop? Behind, behind this is yeah. a Hall of Fame. Oh, I'm gonna okay. go ahead. I'm gonna throw this out here. Yeah. This beer is a Hall of Famer. Is a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. I, not just because I'm playing to the audience. It just yeah, works. All right. It's just, it, Yonkers proud. The, Yonkers proud. The, the design is 
my iPad just dropped. <laughs> Who cares? I got insurance, I think. Who cares? Uh, this beer is uh, was was an absolute uh, joy. The, the and I've saved this since October or November. It's been in my refrigerator, and Amy picked it out because of the design. Mm -hmm. um, and then I told her what the style was, and she's like, oh, I love all that. That's all about and it. Then and then you came over and said, you designed it. And then it is, but it actually, all works out. But actually, the liquid inside that, that, the that made the actual yeah. final yeah. decision. So yeah. I, I'm going to say shop. Yeah, it's in. I, and we're going to shop it, Amy. Instagram the heck out. We're shopping it. Uh, this, I still got a little bit more of the re-raise left. I think that was phenomenal. Panther, I'm a stout man. Oh, I lost one. Uh, and I just want to call it Sex Panther for the rest of my life. Please make Sex it Panther. some more. Make, make more Sex just Panther. Just make a Sex Panther Fest Bar edition. Yeah. we got to have Captain Lawrence. It's not nice shades. We haven't had that yet. Hopefully, they'll give us some. Yeah. So maybe next nice the next, the next yeah. uh, episode, we can do some nice shades. I love it. Uh, yeah. And uh, Beer Geek Breakfast. I love it. But this was awesome. This was so much this fun. This was the best. Thank, thank you. so much. Thanks no, for having thank you. You made the so third so episode feel really just like the first time. Yes. Well, I do what I can. Oh, how many how many dudes have told you that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's Barry. Uh, Come on. So anyway, yeah. we are uh, gonna wrap this up with. We're gonna wrap it up. How the hell are we gonna wrap this well, up? We're so this say we, thank you to all our sponsors. We have to thank all our sponsors. Our first sponsor, City, uh, Iconic. Yep. Instant. Intoxicate. <laughs> um, I got it right. Um, and then, and then next week we're gonna be gone because I'm gonna be at Russian River. You're going to San Francisco. I'm going to Russian River to see my boy Mike Benz, Westchester native. Yeah. Uh, hopefully oh. bring him back a little bit of Pliny. I hope you can do a little interview over there. Um, maybe I'll do a little. Maybe you can uh, set. Cuff. Do we have? Uh, I'm probably just gonna have dinner with him because uh, he's just my friend. Do we? Do we have a? <laughs> uh, do we have a budget to fly uh, Amy and neighbor Mike out there? No, we don't. But can maybe we have enough money to fly some of that Pliny, uh, the elder. Oh yeah. We, we do have enough budget to fly a case of Pine of the Elder. So maybe the back. next episode we'll have right. that. A little, some of their sours, a little damnation, a little awesome. uh, sanctuary. It was awesome. Well, thank you. Where are you going to be? You're going to Vermont. I'm going to Vermont this weekend. So what are you going to bring back? Uh, uh, you need to tell me what I need to bring house back. Treehouse, right? Optimist. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'll bring I, it back. Fiddleheads. I don't fucking care, man. Bring out some delicious beers. Delicious. All right, so we'll be coming back to you on March 29th. Thank you, neighbors. Thank you, neighbors. Thank you, neighbor Mike. Thank you, thank neighbor, you neighbor Amy. Thank you. thank you, neighbor thank you, Kate. Thank you, neighbor Amy. Yeah. Thank what you, are the sausages? Mike. What, what, do, what do we say? The sausages are great. Yeah. Oh, they're so good. Uh, the sausages are sponsored by La Placita. And oh, awesome. awesome. Oh, well, that's yeah. a hidden gem. Um, don't tell anybody about it. And so, like so the great. alchemist says, don't be a D-bag and recycle your cans. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I actually almost tipped over this one. Oh no, that's a good one. You're gonna recycle like, was that recycled? <laughs> 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 <laughs>